Chair, I think uh, Governor Cooper had a question. Mr. Secretary, we thank you very much for spending so much time with us today and spending, spending lunch with us. Also grateful for your couple of visits to North Carolina to celebrate our progress in rail and electric vehicles. The president, I think, has recognized, although a lot of money is going through the Department of Transportation, that this is going to be important that we don't approach this in a siloed way and that there's going to be a lot of interagency, interdepartmental uh, decision making going on. And uh, obviously, he's appointed Mayor Landrieu to try and bring that together on the federal level. And many governors have followed suit. I know in my state, uh, my Department of Environmental Quality, my Department of Information Technology, Commerce, Transportation, we're coordinating all of that. And, and we know that when we're looking at transportation, we're also looking at environmental resiliency. We're looking at high-speed internet access. With the discretionary investments that are gonna be made, can you give me some idea of what you guys would be looking for most in states that are looking to merge funding sources together to make progress in this infrastructure arena? Thanks, Governor. It's, it's a great point and, and, uh, and one where I think there are some, some great examples in your state that I saw in my uh, travels with the, uh, with the Vice President there and have seen in, in so many places around the country. Um, look, family budgets uh, aren't siloed, right? People pay for housing and transportation uh, in the same month. And yet uh, the, the org chart of the uh, executive branch of the federal government doesn't really reflect that reality. So uh, I appreciate you uh, making sure that, that your administration does, and, and we're trying to do that as well. In terms of what that looks like in practice, I'll, I'll offer uh, a handful of examples that are worth thinking about. One is transit-oriented development, uh, right? We, we need to welcome and encourage states and communities that are finding ways to stitch together housing or development dollars. Uh, with transit dollars that are going to help people be closer to work, not just in terms of miles, but in terms of minutes. Because uh, sometimes what's really going to make the difference is, is not geography, but options uh, to get across that geography with the right kind of, of transit or transportation. Uh, so that's an area where I've discussed a lot with, with uh, Secretary Fudge and, and HUD how we can uh, show support for that. Uh, also, that's certainly true around resilience, right, where uh, uh, when you're considering maybe from an economic development perspective, uh, how a highway ought to be routed. It makes sense to also consider its possible relevance as an evacuation route uh, when hurricanes are becoming more frequent. And uh, we, as we put together our, uh, our guidance for things like the forthcoming PROTECT uh, program, which is a, uh, a grant program specifically for the purpose of building resilience, uh, that's something that, that we'll be thinking about. Uh, also, cannot emphasize enough the value of dig once, uh, especially when you consider you know, across the interagency, we've got water and wastewater projects, we've got highway and road and rail projects, and then we've got this effort to get uh, broadband internet to every single uh, person in America. So shame on us if we dig a place up to lay the fiber and then two years later are digging it up again to lay pipe and then three years later are tearing up the highway that sits over it. Uh, we got to find ways to coordinate that, and I know some of the best ways to do it, since, since you're the ones actually deploying the funds uh, most of the time, uh, are actually going to come up to us from the states rather than coming down from on high. And we want to work with you on that, uh, see who, who's doing it well, and then try to help spread those ideas across the, the, the various states and territories, uh, because it'll make a huge difference to how much bang for our buck we get. Uh, and even a colossal sum like the trillion plus dollars of this infrastructure law uh, will go very quickly if we're not smart about getting the absolute most impact for it. 